right, welcome to Popping Up on a Player. I am here with the Incredible Hawk, also known as Adam Francesco. Hey! <laughs> um, part of the House Gallery, which is inclusive of Jay Ramsey, Jason Garcia, and... Mm, Okay, he's uh-huh. my favorite. He's, he's my favorite. Fine. There, I've said it. Are you all happy now? <laughs> Adam Francesconi. Um, for those of you who may not know, he is very small in stature, but extremely large in talent. I call Adam the Incredible Hawk because once he gets behind the tables, he totally turns into a beast. So, a lovable beast, but a beast nonetheless. Well, thank you. I have lots of fun. <laughs> uh, you, you you play like you have lots of fun. So, tell us a little bit about who Adam is. Uh, I I I'm someone who just loves uh, the music. Um, a lot of funk, soul music. Um, I like to. I don't know. I just kind of started out just really liking it. I'm like, all right, well, let me just play it. Next thing you know, uh, people are like, yeah, why don't you play out? And it just kind of happened that way. So how long have you been playing? Since around 99 or so. Have you always like liked house music? Is it something that was a progression or what was it? Well, I've always kind of liked disco. And then somebody years ago showed me like a rave, and then I kind of came up on. Should I be looking this way? It doesn't matter. Okay. It's, it's, just, it's, it's so impromptu. It's yeah. so just. This is. Yes, yeah, so I just got dragged outside, and I'm uh, a little in shock. Yeah, but, well, that's uh, why it's called popping <laughs> up on a player. These right. Are just, Really impromptu. We talk, we even swear on this show. Listen, I will not swear. Okay. There are children out there. Hi, children. <laughs> I will not swear. Okay. Well, I swear. Um, but what was I saying out in? Um, you like disco? You were. Is this yeah, something that like, you heard in your home as a kid growing well, up? Well, my actually, uh, it started with the Village People. Uh, my mom would put that record on, and uh, strange enough, I, I I loved it as a kid. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. in a weird way, that's kind of like deep down in there and then I had a friend who took us to some raves and I remember I saw Terrence Parker at a rave once and then we came across his spot over in uh, where was it out in uh, Pontiac he used to do Sundays out there what, what was that uh, the Velvet Lounge okay and uh, that's that's when I kind of saw it and understood like this is what, what I want to do that, yeah that was the music I'm like okay this is it so and who, I, if, 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 and I ask this of everybody, who are your top five Detroit DJs? Uh, Terrence Parker, uh, that's that's the guy that I just kind of understood everything from. Like, okay. it just, that's the, I was like, this is the music. Um, I was always uh, Theo Parrish, like, just seeing him just was something different, and I, I loved that. Um... Norm Talley, Delano, they used to do their Sundays at Agave, and that was just the place to go to. Like, ah, that was I wish I like, would have been there. Yeah, I mean, that was just so much fun to go to. And everybody was there. Like, you would just see everyone there, and it was like the spot. Okay. And on uh, Jerry the Cat as well. Like, he's, he used to do a, a night out in Win- Windsor, Velvet Something. And uh, he had me play out there, and uh, yeah, he's 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 one of the the greats. Okay, all mm-hmm. right. How did the house gallery come about? Like, who's the leader? We all are, I guess. It's okay. we. Uh, I guess it started at Proof. Terrence Parker was doing a night out there, and he, I think he was gone like one one night and asked me to fill in or. Somebody asked me to fill in for his nights. I was kind of nervous. I'm like, okay, uh, this is, <laughs> people are looking to see Terrence, but so I'm like, all right. And then um, the place liked me, so they just kept having me back. And Jay Ramsey at the time was really into like house music. He was nuts over it. So I'm like, you should just do the night with me. So we started doing it. And then uh, Garcia would do Fridays okay. at, at Proof. And eventually we asked him to come along and and this guy over here, Taz, was always up there. And uh, Taz. Yes, I was. <laughs> he was a staple, and uh, he was playing quite a bit. So, yeah, that was uh, was a lot of fun to kind of watch that place kind of build. And 
glad and, to see them support the music. Yeah, and as far as support goes, do you do you feel like the House Gallery gets the support and the recognition that it deserves? Because you guys are pretty freaking soulful. I'm trying to keep it PG since kids are watching. No swearing. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, there's just so many great people in the community. I mean, sometimes you don't go out for a while, and then you come out, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's just just really good people. And they need more support. They need more support. They are the shiznit. They are the shiznit. And, and Adam, and I, I mean, I feel so bad because I love Jay Ramsey so much, and I, and I love Jason Garcia so much, but when it comes to somebody that really drives it home for me it's 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 adam is really is really you you know well, and it's, you. it's not to you know not the other two but you just bring something to the table that not too many people can bring you your your tune selection you dig deep in them greats you did do you prefer playing vinyl or it's an ever evolving process i guess uh i i've just recently started playing on like mp3s or the cdjs yes. <laughs> yes. this guy over here yes <laughs> um taz is happy but i miss the vinyl days of going to the record store and meeting people and, and trying to find that one record and spending hours on that that game was so fun and not everybody was into it but like that that's what it was about and Unfortunately, that's gone, but we move on, and it's always about progressing using new technologies to display music out there. So. And what would you, if you had anything to say to your DJ brother and sister, and especially in the Detroit House community, what would you like to say from your heart to their ears? Uh, I would say have fun with it. You know, don't take it too serious. It's music. Just get out there, have fun, talk to some people, and have a good time. You know, the one thing I do like about the House Gallery is you all's bullshit detectors are so, so choice. Like, they can smell bullshit. They're strong. They are strong with the bullshit <laughs> The force gang. is strong with the these. The force is very strong. <laughs> if there was a Yoda in, in this, it would definitely be Garcia. Garcia can smell bullshit from a mile away. It's like... I think he has a hat. He yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Slytherin or... Adam ain't too far behind him now. Yeah, Adam's not too far behind with the bullshit. He's just, he just doesn't, just don't have it. So what are you guys, what's coming up for you all? Because we know you have a monthly thing here at Motor City Wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we wanted to hear something from you, can, do you have a mix or a SoundCloud page? Been a little slow on that lately. Um, hopefully springtime I can get into more new stuff out there. Jay Garcia has been producing like mad and putting some good stuff out. He is. He has been. We did a little project one night where there was a festival in Ferndale and we said let's record for the night and then we'll just lay it over one of your tracks and let's try to put something together in one night. And so we did that and then threw it up on, I think it's on the House Gallery page of this video that we did so and have you guys ever played overseas i've been over there a couple times okay mm -hmm. over in uh paris with cloud master weed cloud cloud how are you christoph and um and then I, jay and jay went over they made a trip over to germany once with uh klaus klaus and fine german the, the man uh -huh. the man <laughs> that man is fine as frogs here uh-huh yeah 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 klaus okay anyway back to not about klaus anywho um do you all have any plans on traveling anytime soon nothing at the moment i think we're all kind of getting things settled in in, in personal life ramsey's over in west virginia these days mm. and uh digging stuff up yes uh-huh yeah he's definitely digging stuff up so I guess, you know, because it's cold and I don't want to keep you out here because uh -huh. I don't want you to catch a cold. And I won't get said, sick. I dragged you out here. I did not <laughs> drag Jason out here. I'm Adam out here. Adam came on his own accord. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, I gave a shout out to the house gallery because these cats are really that deal. They are soulful. They are funky. They they know their shit. I mean, just basically you guys know your shit when it comes to 
tune selection, like for me, when it comes to tune selection, is Jay Ramsey. When it comes to putting the music together, is Jay Garcia. When it comes to just straight out lacing the tables, it's Adam Francesconi. I'm just glad I finally learned how to pronounce the man's name. Bam, that's perfect. Is it? And then if you and if you want to get crazy, Francesconi. Francesconi. There we go. Hey. Yep. Oh boy. Francesconi. <laughs> I like that. All right. So this has been popping up on a player with Paula. And Taz. And Adam. And we are out of here because it's cold as mummy dust. Thank you, uh, Minx, for that. I will be using that from this point going forward. Catch us in traffic and uh, happy Christmas, Hanukkah.